Hey guys, welcome back. 94 here. I'm going to be reacting to Supernatural season 12, episode 21. There's something wrong about Mary. Oh, they're hunting her down. Oh no, she's hunting Hellhound. Okay, got gotcha. you. Wow. So she wasn't hunting. You're controlling it. Yo, they know how to control hellhounds? Yo! I leave. She did. No. She was uh, mauled by a wild animal in a wooded area that doesn't have animals that do that. In South Carolina. I thought she was in Ireland. I mean, that's the second hunter death we've heard about in two weeks. Mm-hmm. The two doesn't mean a pattern. Huh. Three one. Meaning? Mom is a hunter. Exactly. And no one knows where she is. Damn. You know what I People smell? People do what we do. Men of letters. But it doesn't make any sense. Why would a, why would a demon sit to hell how not her? Why did she leave Ireland? I don't know, Dean. All right, well, Counting Eileen, that makes seven hunters in three weeks. Yeah, and those are the ones we know about. So no, if they kill guards, I'm mean, going to riot. Oh, Mary. That ain't Mary. Here's listen. Go. Okay, so it's probably a shifter. I out of this building. Well, you would know that better than I. Oh, so was it a shifter I'm just or a distinguishing fact from fiction? <sighs> Uh, You're brainwashing me. Oh, so what did happen? Oh, that's some mind trick there. <laughs> oh, Crowley, Crowley. I provided Arthur Catch with a hellhound. I didn't think he was looking for a pet. Oh, they really working together. <laughs> oh. I just want to make doubly sure that you and I have the same arrangement in the States that we do in the UK. I don't see why not. I may be the only hope you have of seeing him alive. Hmm. Interesting. I would take that deal because you're going to get free eventually. Come on, man. <laughs> Think about it. That's a sweet deal. You know you're getting out. Hey. I'm sorry, were you expecting a pat on the head, your highness? Yo. Oh no, I would never expect civility from you. Psychopath. Hmm. What are you? I mean, here you are, watching this woman suffer. I mean, only days ago you were sleeping with her. <laughs> they even knew that. <laughs> oh. I'm seriously considering putting you in charge. You're too kind. Of course. Lady Bevel is also desperate for the job. Oh, that's right. You slept with her as well. Oh! Who has it he slept with? <laughs> Following me, watching me, they tapped my phone. I found a microphone in my room. Wow. I hate to be all girly, but could I bunk with you guys for a few days until I sort this out? You take it Damn. Much, no? If Eileen says they were, then maybe they're the ones that killed her. Go check out the bunker, guys. Exactly. Find it, homie. The ability to control is transferring from Crowley. So you're saying that Crowley is going to be my puppet? <laughs> I killed somebody. Did you or they want you to think it was that? A friend. I do it all the time. <laughs> Just like how you shot Mike. Please. <laughs> really? <laughs> you fell for that? Oh. 
she was gonna kill herself. And, and this will all be over. I promise. Yo, I promise. That's a... <laughs> yeah, British men of letters gotta die, all of them. Good. Oh, shoot. Yeah. He should have shot her. You persist in the fantasy that you were best me. <laughs> oh, I love you. There is no match for my masterful strategies. And in the end, you have to concede that I. What's going on? Oh! I thought they were marketing each other. <laughs> oh! Some of the best sex you'd ever had. <laughs> oh, we really had to say that. You want to rethink that? Fine. He said it was the best sex he'd ever had. <laughs> no, oh, shoot her in the knee! This new arrangement better. <laughs> You're more the big picture guy. I'm the day to day minutia guy. Crowley, I don't think you can get out of this. Just snap your fingers and disappeared, homie. Oh. You ain't gonna kill him. Damn. Just damn. Nah, don't kill my homeboy Crowley. <laughs> Yo, those things gonna transfer his asses into that rat and scurry away. He did it. He did it. Damn. Just damn. Ooh! Just stay where you are. Hey! You heard her. No. You fool. This better be a chain shifter. <laughs> Yo. How would it disarm her? For heaven's sake, where do you think you're going? Catch. Oh. Remember at Kendricks how they taught us that we were all expendable? Your oxygen should be gone in two days, maybe no. three. You dying in here. It's almost poetic. <laughs> Your dumb mistake was leaving Belle here, down here with them, so she can get some revenge and help them. Come along. You should have brought her outside, then shot her. I'm fine. Wow. Hold up. What's this? Hey, Lucy. My son. Wow. What an episode. What an episode. Like, beginning, I thought that, wait, is that really Mary? Or was that like a shifter here? But then it's like, no. It really was Mary. At first, I thought that they were just trying like, um, twist her mind or make her believe that she actually killed that hunter but damn they actually brainwashed her to the point that she broke and now she's killing hunters she basically left sam and dean in that bunker with freaking lady tony bell like oh my goodness this is this is ridiculous but that was like a really stupid move for catch now leaving her down there like, she might as well just team up with the damn Winchesters and actually just freaking get revenge and go kill Kench. I think, at one point, in like, early episodes, still to this day, I was like, you know what, F, why in the world would you bring that prick back? But now we know why they brought the prick back. Because that prick is gonna help Sam and Dean. If not, then I don't know what's gonna happen. If it was me as um, Mr. Kench, I would actually would have brought her outside, then shot her. But no, like, <laughs> now they basically got some help. But, wow, this is going to be an interesting episode. Uh, don't know why. <laughs> Yo, know, again, when it comes to villains, if you want to kill your enemy, kill them quick. Don't taunt, don't push them around, don't talk about your damn plan. Just kill them. He had a chance to kill Crowley from dead in there. No, he wants to make it, Lucifer wanted to make a show. And what happened when Lucifer just turned, just for a quick sec, 
Crowley saw an opening with that um, New York City rat. If y'all know about New York City rat, <laughs> that was almost equivalent to the same size. I mean, who knows? Even bigger. It's probably the size of a dire wolf. But yeah, so the rat basically went inside that, and now he's basically just gonna like chillax and wait until the opportune moment, as Crowley always does, and get his comeuppance. He is gonna go back to his body and plan a revenge against the wind. Not another winch, excuse me against Lucifer by then teaming up with the Winchesters. But it's very shocking that we find out that Crowley and the um, British Men of Letters, <laughs> they got basically a deal between the two. Like, oh, we same deal back in um freaking uh, London or England, wherever you put it. And it was like, yo, as long as you know, you just make your deals with the idiotic people who want to do it, you know, and you just help us out. We might help scratch your back, scratch ours. We're all good. Like, you know, they're a bunch of hypocrites talking about, oh, we gotta kill all monsters. Yet you're working with freaking demons. It's like, I'm, <laughs> I'm seriously, and every time I'm gonna meet a group of individuals, either hunters or whatever, like, they're gonna basically be working with demons one way or another. Like, <laughs> they are not expendable. They're gonna be here forever. This could have been all a little bit avoided if we actually did close, um, you know, the gates of hell, but that didn't happen. Because if we did that, you know, Sam would be dead. And we all love Sam. We all do, but. I know, yeah, because I know there's like a lot of individuals. I remember in my comment section, I remember one time I was on the um, Supernatural Amino, and it was like so much hatred I saw from, from the individuals who actually hated um, Mary Winchester. And here, like, I have like mi mixed emotions with uh, Mary Winchester. I never truly hated her or disliked her. You know, I just felt sympathy from her from the beginning to start because she died. She's being introduced back into this new world that she doesn't remember the Winchester. She's just trying to like build it up all back up again. But now they literally just broke her to the point that now it looks like she's all on board. She, to the point that literally to breaking her, she almost committed suicide. I even can't just like, oh hell no, we're not gonna let you to kill yourself. You're, <laughs> you're a viable weapon to us, Mary. I'm like, just damn. And there was like points in time when I was like, yo, Kench, is he like changing a bit or like? Because there's that one point where, you know, the um, headmaster, <laughs> I'm calling her headmaster, a British man, I don't have master, headmistress, whatever. She was like, oh, we know that you, like, slept with Mary. And not only that, but you know you slept with um, 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 Lady Tony Bell. So it was like, oh, shoot. So it was like, yeah, I knew about this. And not only that, though, I think, um, I don't recall, but when we, in last season, we did see um, Lady um, Tony Bell had a child. And they're saying that back in the academy, the, you know, Kench and um, Lady T basically had relations with each other. So imagine if all this time that child is actually his son, but he doesn't know about it. Like, interesting. But I don't recall that when I was watching the episode that there was a husband around. But if so, that would be quite interesting if it was, though. But damn, they're hunting down, killing hunters. Yo, I'm telling you, if, if there's like a confirmation saying that Garth is dead, oh, oh my gosh, they gotta die. They all gotta die. <laughs> but seriously, the Winchesters really just should have shot her in the damn knee <laughs> from jumpstart. <laughs> but no, but no, they want to keep her alive. But now that Crowley is free, he's gonna look at, he's gonna look for his son. So now, <laughs> and it looks like near the end. At first, I look at the end, and I'm like, hold up, did the, did he actually, did, um, can they give birth already? And the child's already like freaking look all oh, growing and whatnot. It's not human, so the aging process could be even like speed faster. But then he's like, no, I'm home. Like I'm looking for my son now. So it's like, wow. So I know that, um, this is episode 21. So I know 22 and 23 is gonna be on the same day. You know, one's at 8, one's at 9 Eastern time for me. So, again, I don't know how I'm going to do these reactions. I was thinking about just putting, you know, both reactions in one video. But then I'm just thinking I might get copyrighted or it might get taken down from too much, like, footage. But I would just simply just make two videos. But, hell, if it gets, like, too tiring for me, I might also just make one video. But so far, it looks like, you know, I'm going to be just doing just two videos. I have free time now. So, yeah, I like or just like the video. Comment on what you guys think of the episode. And if you're new, please subscribe. I'm the Broke Black 94, and I am signing off.